proactivity, go for what you want. So many people say to me, Jess, how can you write books and do this and give presentations and look after your four kids and raise your four grandkids and be a good husband? And I go, I'm just proactive about my life. I've cleared out everything. I mean, I've seriously, I've cleared everything out of my life that isn't my five values. And my five values are really simple. Everything in my life comes out of these five words, five simple words for me. Family, friends, music, health, contribution. That's it. Why I'm here today, health, contribution. Notice they both fall out of two of my values. That's why I'm here. If they didn't, I wouldn't be here. I mean, I'm getting paid $15,000 just for this, but I'm kidding. Right? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. So people on their deathbeds were asked these questions, right? They were asked questions about regrets. And this goes across all cultures. It was a nurse who traveled around the world and asked people who were dying, what do you regret the most? Same five answers. Doesn't matter where in the world they were asked, they said the same five things. The first one was, I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to me, not the life others expected of me. So I actually wish I'd done what I actually wanted to do. Number two, I wish I didn't work so hard, as in I gave too much time for my work and not enough time for contribution. Number three, I wish I'd had the courage to express my feelings. So I felt kind of like I'm not being heard here and my truth is this, you know. Fourth one was I wish I'd stayed in touch with my friends. I set up two friends groups 20 years ago one around movies and one around just men's support. Because I was missing out on my friends, we didn't get together. Now we get together all the time, it's amazing. 